My name is Laura Lynn from the Braiding Lounge Academy. We're about to do a version of a formal updo. Okay, so we're starting off with a ponytail. I'm actually putting this ponytail slightly to the side. Adding hairspray as and when I feel it's needed. And I'm literally gonna half turn the ponytail that I've created up the side of the head towards the crown of the head. And I'm gonna start to secure it with pins. All the way up the fold of the hair. Now anyone at home can do this. A husband for his wife, a mother for her daughter. This is a very simple way of getting a classy fold into your hair. And once you feel you've got it secure enough, it will then start to concentrate on sculpting what's left of the ponytail. Okay, you can use a slightly stronger hairspray to hold this style in place. Just gonna take a fine tooth comb and just neaten over what you've already done, just to keep it all looking nice and neat and organized. Okay, just check your security. And then with the top of the hair, there's many options. And I'm just going to show you one of the options today. Literally going to take the top of the hair and twist it round in and onto itself. Cause it, causing almost like a uh, ice cream cone shape finish to your bun. Now apply more hairspray if you need to to the ends. And then continue to sculpt around. And that can be secured with a pin in the top of the hair. For an option of what to do with the front section of the hair or the fringe section, I've just taken it, sprayed some hairspray to make it a little more malleable. And then I'm creating a pin curl and securing it with a hairpin. Now that I'm doing a pin curl because uh, it just continues the whirly shape we're doing to the back and the front of the head. There are other options, but this is just one option of a finish I'm showing you. Now we have one section of fringe left. I'm gonna show you what you can do with that section. All right, so we've created a second pin curl, a smaller pin curl out of the front section of the fringe. And you just repeat the same technique as what you used with the pin curl behind, whirling it around and securing it with a hairpin, a bobby pin. Okay, so this should be the last bobby pin going in. There we 
Mosca. Swept slightly to the side just to give it a little bit more of a special look. As you can see, the fringe has been looped into two well. Just to give you an idea of how to style a slightly longer fringe. And we finish off the top by continuing to go round and take the rest of the ponytail into the actual hive itself and tuck it in there. So you've got whirls going all round. Okay, and there we have another version of a formal or an updo.